Okay, so Silver have an iconic product that we will all know and love or hate in, because it's it, trying to make it work and get us get us through our checkpoints and not get into trouble from uh, DS and or, or whatnot. So the Expedition Four, uh, or in the military version, the Militaire, had had both this version and, and a, a little version that had a little sticker on there. We had a radioactive symbol, and that was kind of the glow in the dark one. That doesn't exist that's old it's gone and can't actually be produced anymore but we did um, a development project with silver and then the marines to to address some of the issues and some of the weaknesses on what was a, a product that's been around for several decades and our understanding of, of navigation and lightweight compasses has moved forward and how we operate on the ground funnily enough has changed and that came up with uh, the expedition 5 and the one i've actually got here is the global version of it and it has a very special needle within it that allows it to operate all around the globe not just in the northern hemisphere which logically for an expeditionary style of, of force or whatever is probably quite useful the other key things that have changed on it are the thickness on the base plate so it's it's much more robust it's a completely sealed bezel so you don't get the air bubbles it has an inclinometer in it so you can look at slope angle um, also quite useful for uh, giving elevation on an 82mm mortar, but that's for a different story. The, the other things here, think about the ergonomics, how you use the glove system, the fact that it all glows in the dark, and then you, there's a little nut here, a little, uh, little screw there that you can adjust the, the grid magnetic angle. So if you're in a part of, the, part of the world where the declination is really high, you can offset it really easily using um, the little, little screwdriver on the end of the, uh, end of the tape. Um, so a really, really functional piece of kit that's more appropriate to what, what's being done nowadays by our forces. This specific compass is actually really only available through, through, through us and, and with us having done the work and the partnership with, with Silver, then absolutely you know, give us a shout and we'll sit down with you and talk through how this can change what you're doing and more appropriate. Okay, so Silver aren't just about compasses. And in 1935, they made the first uh, lightweight torch uh, or, or head torch for the sort of uh, concept, um, for want of a better description. Now that, that history has continued and, and they have compasses and head torches throughout their range, whether it's for uh, adventure racing or for outdoor pursuits or whatever it is. Now, they, again, it's a project we've kind of worked with them to help them understand from their civilian point of view, what, what a military end user needs. And, and you know, within the military, you're, you're doing a lot of work at night. And a lot of work at night that you don't necessarily want to have huge amounts of white light kicking around. So you want to be doing navigation stops, and you want to be able to check your map. Well, you, there is a very, very clear understanding of what is the right light to do that. You know, you don't want to do it in white light because you're trying to hide away and, and protect yourself. And it's certainly a head torch doesn't work for that. Uh, you don't want, red light because you can't see contours you don't want blue light because you can't see water you don't want green light because you can't see those features so interesting enough the best light to look at a map at night time is, is is orange light so uh, what we've now got is the mr350 which is specifically focused at these end users and it's got it's, of course it's got white light on there it's got a very very bright white light which is very useful for entering buildings but you can have you can step it back so it's not quite as intense the other thing you've got here is the ability to go through these these different colored lights now the other really cool thing about silver and its position within the globe is they're used to really cold environment so this torch if you're in the arctic just keeps keeps going because power management is a real problem Unfortunately, some of its competitors, which are very widely known, really struggle and the batteries just run out within no time at all. The other cool thing is to do with the mounting. So it comes with a headband, but it's actually the perfect dimensions to clip onto to, to Molly. So for a commander's point of view, if, if you want to do map checks or whatever, you can have it in front of your face uh, and be able to do that really, really close checking in, in cover. So really, really clever little bit of kit.